Well, we are at Gatorland. Yes. And it's kind of a little bit of a tradition, really. It is. I came here as a small kid. I came here religiously as a small kid. We uh, we brought Lauren here when she was little. Yes, twice. And, um, and now we're back. Yes. Last time we were here, Lauren was... Well, I came one time after that. Oh, did you? You were deployed the second oh, time. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time so while I was deployed. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Last time I was here, Lauren was really Four. tiny. Yeah. So she's 20 now. So it's been 16 years since I've been here. Yeah. And I don't know when you came after that. I came with Apparently my... with your boyfriend while I was deployed. <laughs> I came when I came for my sister's wedding. You were not with us. Well, they're getting ready to feed these big guys, and the way they do it is they they send this chicken parts chicken on the wire over a, yeah <laughs> over like a little zip line, and the gators jump up and try to try to get it. Yeah, it's around this little pit, and I got a cool story because the first time I was here, I was little, yeah, and it's like a big square pit, and around it's like the little railings so the kids can't fall in and stuff. And so we're sitting there waiting for the they call it the jumperoo show, we're waiting for the jumperoo show, and this little bird lands on a little rail and he's like he was like this little guy he was a new bird no and um <clears throat> i got spooked or something he wasn't great at flying and he took off and he went right in stop, the water stop. he did stop. <laughs> and it wasn't not a happy story <laughs> it was not it did it was it didn't take long oh god That's yeah horrible. i know but it's it's crazy because these these little birds these cranes and vultures get really pretty close to the gators yeah trying to get the food and stuff and you never see a gator try to get one or anything but this little baby bird once you get the water there's no way he's getting out of the water yeah i think anything hits water they go for it and uh yeah he was toast it's but terrible. um i don't think we'll see that today god i hope not <laughs> but it'll be cool to see the gators jump and get some chickens yeah We're at the breeding marsh now, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's breeding season, but yeah. if it is, you definitely don't want to mess with gators during the breeding no. season. No. And just walking across here, across this uh, boardwalk, they, I guess they either hear you stepping or they the, feel the vibrations, and then they come they towards come you. They come right up. They just gotten so accustomed to being fed right. by humans that when they hear you or they feel your do. vibration, they think they're they going to get fed. Now swim towards you, <laughs> which is a little intimidating because some of these guys are huge. Yes. Massive. Ginormous. And speaking of the ginormous alligators, we're getting ready to go see some of them mm -hmm. very, very close up. And we're going to. This gonna... wasn't offered back in the day when we were kids. No, not at all. And this is, um, we're going to feed the gators mm -hmm. without a fence. Yeah. There, is, there will be one. Just uh, a man and a stick. Uh, yeah, a wrangler <laughs> out there that will be fending off alligators while we are feeding them mm -hmm. and then we are gonna actually get very close to the gators we're gonna put our yeah. back to the gators and trust that this guy is gonna protect us while they're taking a picture of them so it's it's a trust thing it is a trust thing because he knows what he's doing dozens and I mean dozens 
yeah. of very large hungry alligators will be, be right up. behind yeah. us. It's gonna it's be cool. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right. <laughs> no pressure. Good throw, bud. All oh, right off the snout. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he got his first one robbed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> nice one there. Bogey, this is you. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, Nikki usually is front and center. He likes to come and say hi. He was just a little late today. Oh. Here, let me help Predator really quick. Yeah, Predator's got that little issue going on. He makes it fall right between his. <laughs> Good shot with Nikki there. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, smacked him! <laughs> no, that's all right. They don't mind. They don't have table manners. Oh, he found it. <sighs> well, how freaking cool was that? That was fun. My goodness, man. They get some good food. Yeah, that's it's quality like a meat. wheelbarrow full of right. cut up meat. They piled up on top of each other. Yeah, and it was yeah, that's the scariest <laughs> part because you get really close to them, and some of them are actually pretty good at catching the meat in their mouth. Yeah. The, the scariest part was getting the picture taken. Yeah. Because you're, like I said before, your back is facing face. them and you can hear them hissing. Yeah. Right they're behind like, you. It takes one, just one of them to jump. Yeah, you just gotta trust the, the guy with the stick. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really fun. <laughs> and he did, he it's, did a great It's job. worth it. Yeah. yeah. So now we're gonna go see all of, we did not we watched two shows. Two shows, we're gonna watch another show. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're gonna go see all the rest of the animals that they have here at the Gatorland. Yeah, because there's more than gators at Gatorland. Yeah. <laughs> I can see where you would think this is not gator chow. But this is gator chow. <laughs> it looks like a turd. <laughs> They're eyeballing you. Yeah. They said to throw it in front of their face. Okay. And watch for birds because they'll snatch them out of your hand. Okay. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you got it. Well, that was a fun day, man. Yes. We have been to a lot of uh, different gator type places. Because we like that stuff. And Gatorland is the, is the one, man. Yeah. They're doing it better than anybody else. So if you're in Orlando, you definitely got to come to Gatorland. It's it's uh, a gator-like experience that you won't see anywhere else. Yeah. There's other parks like it, but this is by far the best that we've ever been to. What was your favorite part of it? Um, I love all of it. Babies. I mean, there's nothing. The babies are freaking <laughs> adorable. I want a baby gator. The little baby the gators. Scout would like it, but I would love it. But getting to feed them was fun because that wasn't offered the last time I was here. That's a new thing they've added. Yeah, and to feed. And and being able to feed without a fence. Yeah, like you're literally you're right six there. feet away. And we're not we're not attraction uh, picture buying people. No. But because um, we were both there we were both in the photo we didn't get to take our own photo we didn't have anybody else with us to take a photo yeah um and it was such a cool photo yeah it was actually a good photo I'm that we had not. to buy the photo so we'll show you the photo and uh, we had a great time and yeah. uh, we're gonna get into a lot more here in orlando so get ready um it's not gonna be uh, anything with mickey mouse no but it's still gonna be some fun stuff around orlando there is fun things outside of Disneyland. <laughs> so we're off to the next spot. All right. Here we go. Well, today we are at the Showcase of Citrus. Yeah. About two miles down the road from where we're staying in yeah. a thousand trails in Orlando. And um, it's a pretty cool place. We haven't seen any of it yet. We just pulled in and kind of walked out onto the dock. Um, but we were able to take a, a picture with the shark. Yeah, selfie with the shark. Yeah. And it looked like, uh, it looked like a daddy shark. 
<laughs> look like a daddy shark. Yeah, well, when I said the word shark, the, the shark song popped in my head. Uh, Baby shark. shark. So I was like, do, 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 do. yeah. <laughs> so that's a daddy shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Stupid. Now it's going to be in my head. Thanks. <laughs> I was doing great till then. We'll show you around. Come on. <laughs> Leslie spotted it, but there in this little creek over here, there's a, a real there's live a wild baby gator. He's adorable. Let's see how close I can get without spooking him off. But let's try to show him to you. I love him. I want him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we weren't planning on staying out here that long. Mm -mm. We were just going to walk around and maybe see some citrus and stuff. But there's way more to do out here than we thought that there was. Yeah, there's a lot here. And we've already seen two wild alligators. Yeah. They're little baby so guys. Cute. And um, now we inquired to see if they're still doing the monster truck tour, uh, tour truck yeah. rides. And they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little pricey. It's 25 bucks a person. But if you're a military or retired military, you get to roll for free. So for both of us combined is it's 25, 25 bucks. bucks yeah so it's um, not bad so we are enjoying a uh -huh. lulu's lulu watermelon, watermelon wine slushy and it's phenomenal <laughs> we're sharing it because we don't get too sloshed on it before we go on the truck ride yeah <laughs> um so it's about 250 acres of citrus plants and uh supposedly there's some stops along the way where he's going to help yeah. Uh, educators on citrus mm -hmm. and how it's grown and how it's picked and all that stuff. Apparently there's some animals out there along the way. Yep. So we will take you along with us on mm -hmm. the truck ride. But first we're going to sit here and take this wine slushy straight, straight to the head. To the head. <laughs> How cool was this place, man? It was a neat place. Very cool. I thought it was going to be like a quick stop and then we'd be on to something else. I thought so too. I thought we were just going to come see some, some like oranges. Maybe grab a like couple of... a citrus of, market. Yeah. Really. I was not expecting it to be this cool. Yeah, and, it was awesome. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Um, over 2,500 acres of... Mm -hmm. and, and, and most of it's not citrus. No. Most of it's just, just land out there. But... Um, the cattle. And the, another thing that I did not know that they told us when we were on the monster truck... Yeah was that if you have ever drank nature's own orange, orange juice, juice it's coming from the oranges right here mm -hmm. on this on yeah. this place at uh what's this place called 
Showcase of Showcase citrus. Showcase of citrus. <laughs> <laughs> you had too much wine slushy. <laughs> yeah. I, it doesn't matter if I have slushy or not. I, I'm not going to remember where we're at ever. I always have to. Normally, um, I'll look back before we start recording, and but she did not. I did not. And, <laughs> and we we're, already, we're already mid-vlog, so it's already too late. We're already committed. Damn, so, yeah, normally you only see the bloopers on Patreon, but <laughs> you get to see them on YouTube today. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, this place was really cool. We were here fun. for how long? Three hours? Three, yeah. Yeah. Came for the first hour, hung out, and then... Um, got the ticket for the monster truck. Mm -hmm. Had to kill a little time, so we got the wine slushy. No. Got hydrated with a little bit of, <laughs> well, a little bit of a refreshing wine. Lulu's slushy. watermelon oh, no. wine slushy. <laughs> but anyway, it's just proof that there are lots of cool stuff to do mm -hmm. in the Orlando area without going to see Mickey Mouse. Yes. And it's right down the street from the Thousand Trails that we're yeah. staying at. So very cool. Mm -hmm. If you get a chance to come out here, come out here, and like I said, you can do it for free. Yeah. We have more variety of oranges. Than I really gave them credit for. I, I knew there were multiple yeah. kinds, but there's a lot more that I didn't know about. There is, and not just oranges. They had grapefruits, lemons, limes, limes. Uh, blueberries when they're in season. Um, so not everything's in season, season right, right now, now. but yeah. um, when when things are in season, mm -hmm. you can actually go out and pick your pick own. Them you, you come back, have them weighed, and then you can take them. Yeah, take them with you. And if you don't want to do the picking, you can just go right in the store and pick them out mm -hmm. of the bin. But they're fresh right out of the out of Lots the orchard. Lots of uh, honey. Yeah, honey varieties, products, honey jams, all kinds of homemade stuff, sauces. Yeah. It was really a cool store. Very cool, and lots of little um, like characters. That you can take pictures yeah. with, so look for it. Nostalgic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so coming through, coming soon on a on a selfie Saturday on uh, our yeah. Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll post some pictures. A lot come selfie, from so here a today. lot are going to come yeah. from here. <laughs> that was yeah. cool. <laughs> but we really enjoyed it, and um, and there's still lots more to see here in Orlando. So stick with us, and mm -hmm. we'll take you with us. Well, today we are at the Chocolate Kingdom. Yeah. Huh. Best kingdom. <laughs> Most people come to Orlando to go to the Magic Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> We came to go to the Chocolate Kingdom. <laughs> well, it's kind of good too because our original plans was to go all the way up to Niagara Falls. Yeah. It got messed up because the Rona. We were going to actually hit Hershey on the way back down. Yes, we were. Didn't get to go to Hershey. No. So, second, hey. Second best. <laughs> yeah. So, supposedly, this is a really cool place yeah. and lots of cool things inside. I don't huh. know what's all in there. We read about it online, yeah. so lots of chocolate, obviously. Yeah. But um, there's like an option at the end to build your own chocolate yes. bar. Leslie's already scheming about what she wants. I already know what my bar will be. What's it going to be? It's going to be a dark chocolate mint with almonds. We don't even know if that's options yet. <laughs> They're going to make it an option. <laughs> so we'll go inside. Um, I don't know how much filming or photography they allow in there, but we'll try to show yeah. you as much as we can. We're going to check it out. Don't know how much we'll be able to show you, but we're going to go inside and do it. Okay. All right. Well, that was that was pretty cool. Very cool place. Yeah, it was um, it was really like a lot of history of chocolate. Yeah, I didn't know it went all the way back to the Mayans. No, <laughs> they used to use this stuff for like currency. They used chocolate for like money. That's my favorite money, chocolate money. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty cool, and you get samples all along the way. Yes, that was a plus too. They start way back at like the bean, and they even let you taste one of the beans. Yeah. Actually, they did sweeten it a little, 
Because if you just eat the bean, I mean, it's well, they're gonna be nasty. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it, I mean, you get it's got almost, a little like sugar coating. Yeah, they have a cute little way of taking you through with like a little story. Yeah. And uh, but every step of the way, you, you get sample. Taste of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's the best tour ever. And then at the end, we made our chocolate bar. Yes. And it and it was. It was a dark chocolate mint with almonds. Yeah. <laughs> so we got it. And we even got them to put... Personalize it. Wayward Wags. Yes. On the Custom chocolate bar. Custom chocolate bar. <laughs> so that Can't was pretty cool. Can't get any cool. better than that. But, um, yeah, and it was... I don't remember how much it was to get into this place. Oh, good Lord. It was... I don't know, 12 or 13 God, bucks. I'm on a chocolate much. high. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... I don't know. It was like fifteen bucks or something. <laughs> anyway, it was it. It's worth it to go through and see and all that stuff. It lasts about an hour yeah. to go through, um, and then at the end, um, we were able to we were able to film a little bit, and yeah. we were able to film them making our chocolate, chocolate. bar, yeah. which was really cool. And uh, we were the only ones on our scheduled tour, so we got a personalized private, private tour. tour. It was just yeah. us with the tour guide, so that was really cool. That was fun. So, um, yeah, definitely worth coming. Yes. And really, that's that's gonna wrap it up for here in Orlando. For now, yeah. Till we come back, <laughs> we will be back at Christmas time, you know, for the holidays. So we will be back, and we'll try to find some more stuff in the Orlando area to explore mm -hmm. and get into. But for now, we're wrapping up this three weeks that we spent in Orlando, yes. and we are headed south. So, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.